All right, folks, today I need to vent about something that's literally driving me crazy. And I know many of you share this frustration. I want my synaptic back. Yes, I know it sounds like a stupid thing, but let me explain why this is a serious problem for anyone who uses Linux in even, even a minimally conscious way. For a couple of versions now, on practically all distributions, there's this trend of leaving GNOME software to handle graphical package management. On Debian, for example, apt remains incredibly powerful and absolutely indispensable from the command line, but if you use GNOME and want a graphical interface, you're stuck with GNOME software. And this, for me, is a big problem. GNOME software is probably the most absurd package manager I've ever seen. And look, I know it's been improved in recent versions, but that's not the point. It's essentiality, this famous GNOME philosophy of simplicity above all else, just doesn't work when it comes to package management. It's not interpreted in the right way, because managing packages on Linux is a completely different concept from installing apps on a store. And let me be clear, simplicity is beautiful. Simplicity is fundamental, but only when it doesn't deprive you of the granularity and power you need. And GNOME software does exactly that. It completely takes away your control transforming itself into something that looks more like a Mac OS or Windows App Store than a real open source package manager. Let's give concrete examples. I want to see my libraries. I want to be able to search for libraries and dependencies. I want to explore all the software actually available in the Debian repositories. If I type curl in GNOME software's search, the result is practically nothing. Why? Because GNOME software doesn't index all Debian packages and I find this completely absurd. Just as I find its interface absurd, trying to imitate a web layout that, modestly speaking, I find horrifying. Everything is oriented to show you beautiful colored cards with screenshots and minimal descriptions, as if you were browsing a mobile app store. But I don't want an app store. I want a package manager. The difference is substantial. An app store shows you ready-to-use applications, those considered user-friendly. A package manager, on the other hand, shows you everything. Libraries, dependencies, command line tools, development packages, everything that makes up a complete Linux system. GNOME software hides all of this. It presents you only with apps, as if Linux had suddenly become a closed ecosystem where you have to settle for what's shown on the homepage. And the beautiful thing is that the solution already exists. Synaptic. Good old Synaptic that we all knew and loved is still alive, working, and perfectly usable. Just install it with a simple command, sudo apt install synaptic. Actually, there are many other alternatives that make more sense than GNOME software. Even Discover, KDE's app store, which I find fantastic, one of the best programs in the entire KDE ecosystem. It's state-of-the-art and manages to give the feel of an app store without losing the soul of a package manager. With Discover, none of this happens. The search is granular, deep, and truly useful. Both Synaptic and Discover, as soon as you open them, make you realize what you've been missing. You have a complete view of all available packages, not just apps, everything. The search actually works. You search for curl, and you find curl, libcurl, all its dependencies, available versions, everything. You have granular dependency management. You can see what will be installed or removed. You can do advanced searches, apply custom filters, and you have detailed information on each package. Complete description, size, dependencies, reverse dependencies, included files. It's a professional tool. Yes, the interface may look dated, but it's functional. It doesn't try to be beautiful, it tries to be useful, and it succeeds perfectly. This is the point I want to emphasize. The GNOME philosophy of simplicity above all else makes sense in many contexts. For the desktop, for system settings, for user experience. But when it comes to package management, you're touching the very heart of Linux. And there you can't sacrifice power in the name of simplicity. But unfortunately, my observations don't stop here. What could have seemed like just an interface monstrosity is actually even worse. If you want to experience something Windows-like and go back 50 years, just use Debian 13 with GNOME software. And yes, don't tear your clothes. I already tore mine before you. And in this, Debian has deeply disappointed me. When you receive an update with GNOME software, to install it, you have to restart your computer. Yes, you heard that right. Installations happen on reboot. 
an annoying, anachronistic thing worthy of old proprietary systems brought directly into our Linux desktops. And you know who's to blame? The fruit of this crap. The demonstration that everything eventually comes back and reverberates throughout the ecosystem in general. System D. Yes, that's right. It all stems from the mechanism of offline updates. The offline updates introduced years ago by Red Hat and then adopted by GNOME and various distributions. When GNOME software downloads updates, it doesn't install them immediately. Instead, it creates a special file, usually in var lib system update slash, which serves as a signal to system D. On reboot, system intercepts that file and starts a dedicated target called systemupdate.target. In this phase, the system enters a temporary mode mounted in RAM where all packages are installed before the graphical environment or other services start. It's a safe way to update critical components like the kernel or systemd itself, but for most desktop users, it's just a pointless annoyance. The result is that, even for trivial updates, GNOME software forces you to restart the system, making the experience more similar to Windows than to a classic Linux system. The responsibility, therefore, is not GNOME software's, but system deeds, which manages the logic of these offline updates. GNOME software just sends the request through package kit, which in turn creates the trigger file that sets off the whole process. To completely disable this behavior and return to the old method, where updates are applied immediately, you just need to intervene in two places. The first is to disable the offline update feature in package kit. You can do this by creating or modifying the slash slash eat slash package kit package kit dot conf file with these lines. The second step is to disable the system D target that manages the offline update mechanism. You do this with two commands. With these two commands, system will ignore any attempt to start offline updates and GNOME software will install everything immediately as it used to. The third step is to install void Linux, use KDE or XFCE or anything else that will free you forever from this garbage. Yes, I really don't like this, as you've clearly understood, and it's triggered me to question 20 years of love and esteem for Debian. I can't understand how it's possible that this isn't disabled by default and that Debian leaves everything as it is. I understand wanting to offer a vanilla GNOME experience. I understand the integration, but I don't accept that it's left pure and raw in all its absurdity. And the worst thing is, for all the less experienced users who try to use GNOME software, they don't find what they're looking for. They get confused. They think Linux doesn't have that software. And then they discover that it does exist, but you have to install it from the terminal. So the promised simplicity turns into confusion. While the more experienced user simply abandons GNOME software and returns to the terminal, completely losing the advantages that a graphical interface could offer. Synaptic, I admit, has its limitations. It doesn't have a real hierarchy in results. If you search for XFCE, the main package appears at the same visual level as a marginal plugin, but it just needed improvement. Discover, on the other hand, is quite modern and complete. Sure, installing it on GNOME is an eyesore, but it works well. I honestly, after this, prefer not to use GNOME at all. And for now, not even Debian. I'm moving directly to Void Linux as my main system. I've been using it for a while, and after this experience, with even more pleasure.